If you've been familiar with Wacom pen tablets and interactive pen displays in the last 10 years, you've most likely heard of one of their key features, that is, express keys, no pun intended. Express keys are customizable keys, or buttons as they're sometimes referred to, that enable you to more quickly access often used keyboard shortcuts and functions. You typically find express keys along the left or right hand side of tablets or displays. Today, however, you can even find them in your hand. Alongside the release of their flagship Cintiq 27 interactive pen display, Wacom once again pushed forward the boundaries of efficiency with a new spin on Express Keys. It's called Express Key Remote. The Express Key Remote is a wireless piece of hardware that houses 17 individual Express Keys and a three function touch ring. Each Express Key, as well as the touch ring, is customizable for instant one touch access to time saving shortcuts in any application. Paired with your computer, you can place the Express Key Remote where it's most convenient in your hand, beside your keyboard, or when used with the Cintiq 27 QHD, you can even place it on the screen. The Express Key Remote was conceived with the Cintiq 27 QHD in mind, but anticipating its popularity, Wacom has made it available as an accessory purchased for its latest generation of Pro products, including Intuos Pro, Cintiq Companion, Cintiq 13 HD, and the Cintiq 22 HD. The Express Key Remote comes bundled with the Cintiq 27 QHD. So how does it work? If this is your first introduction to the power of Express Keys, keep watching as I show you how easy it is to set up your Express Keys for your specific needs. Setting up Express Keys is a really simple process. You're going to do so from the Wacom Tablet Properties. Now, depending on what platform you're working with, you're going to find your Wacom Tablet Properties in different places. I'm using the Mac OS today, so I found it in the System Preferences under the Other tab and then where it says Wacom Tablet. Now, if you're on the Windows platform, you're going to find this in your Application folder which is where you'll find the Wacom Tablet folder. You can also find it in your Control Panel folder. One other place you may find the Wacom Tablet properties is from the Wacom Desktop Center. This is a fairly new introduction. It's basically just that. It's a desktop or an interface where you can very easily access the settings for your individual tablets. Now, where do you find the Wacom Desktop Center? Well, very similar to any application and that is in the Application folder. Once you launch the Wacom Desktop Center, in the top row, you're going to find the different tablets or devices that you can customize. Along the left-hand side, you'll find those options that you can select to customize. For example, Pen and Button Settings will reveal Pen, Express Key, Touch Ring, and On-Screen Controls. If you want to assign custom keyboard shortcuts to any of them, you can simply click on the option that you prefer. So I clicked on the Express Key Settings and it brought up my Wacom Tablet Properties. So now I'm going to go ahead and minimize the Wacom Desktop Center and we're going to focus on how we can set up our Express Keys for our particular needs. Now the tablet that I'm using right now happens to be an Intuos Pro Medium and you can find it right here in the top most row where it says device. Depending on the version of tablet driver that you may have, it might actually say tablet instead of device. Either way, it's the same concept. The name application was replaced with device because of the new Express Key Remote, which we're going to focus our attention on in just a moment. From the second row where it says tools, you'll find the various tools that you can customize per device that you have selected. In the third row where it says application, this is where you can add applications that you wish to customize specifically for your particular device or tool. All right, let's go ahead and select EK Remote or Express Key Remote. You can see that our tool row disappeared because there are no tools for the Express Key Remote. It is simply a device. The second row, however, is important and that's the application row. What I want to do here is I want to apply application specific settings to the keys on my Express Key Remote. So I'm going to click on the plus sign to the right of the application row and a window is going to pop up and show me all the applications that are currently running. I want to add specific settings for Photoshop. So I'm going to select it and then click OK. Now you'll see the Photoshop icon shows up in the application row. With it selected, we can go ahead and make the custom settings to any one of the individual 17 Express Keys. With Express Keys selected, you can see all these little drop down menus on the left and right hand side. That is the outermost keys. The inner keys tab is going to reveal four additional keys. Finally, the ring keys is going to reveal five individual keys. And this is a little bit difficult to see in this illustration, but you've got five buttons that circle the touch ring within the center. Let's go ahead and go back to outer keys. Again, I want to set up a couple of Express Keys specifically for Photoshop. I'm going to change this default where it says scroll and zoom to one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts and that's undo. I'm going to hit command option Z or control alt Z and well actually I said undo but really what it is is step backwards. 
but I like to call it multiple undo. So, but I'm simply gonna name it step backwards for now. Radial menu is a default and I really like that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one alone. These two here, however, page up and page down, I don't really find them too useful for my particular workflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset them to another keystroke that I like. And that's Command Option Shift N. Now before I hit that, you'll notice however that there's something already in there, that page up, that's the page up arrow. I'm gonna click clear to clear that. And now I'll hit Command Option Shift N or Control Alt Shift N. And I'm gonna rename that new layer. And I'll tap OK. Next one down, once again from the drop down menu, I'm gonna select keystroke. Again, clicking clear. And I'm gonna hit Command or Control J to duplicate my layer. And then again, I'm gonna rename it, duplicate layer and then I'll tap OK. There we go. So now we've got step backwards, radial menu, new layer, and duplicate layer. Now I'm not gonna go through all 17 individual keys. Rather, what I wanna do is just simply give you a couple of ideas as to how you might wanna set up your express keys. What I typically recommend is that you think about what it is that you do personally all the time in your favorite applications. I selected Photoshop, but again, really you can add any application that you wish to the application row and customize your express key remote for your specific needs. All right, I'm gonna tab over to Photoshop, which again, as we know, was currently running. And I've got this image open here. Now, I wanna apply a couple of these settings that I've created for my Express Key Remote. But let's say, for example, I can't remember what those are. I'm gonna hold down my space bar, I'm gonna tap my pen to the tablet, and I'm gonna move my image off to the left-hand side. And I'm gonna hit one of the buttons on my Express Key Remote that is set to something called Settings. And that's this one right here. And you can see, if you follow this little white arrow, it comes down here to Settings. This brings up what I like to call a blueprint. And it's simply a blueprint of what your express keys are set up for. Now it can be a little bit confusing at first glance because well obviously you've got 17 individual express keys and then you've also got these three individual functions for the touch ring. When you hover over any one of these individual areas you see that they're going to highlight. I'm gonna come down here to this area where it says settings and point out a couple of the different settings that I created. You can see we have step backwards right here. And then the other two that we created was new layer and then the duplicate layer. So let's go ahead and apply some of those. I'm gonna once again click that settings button that's assigned to my express key remote and I'm gonna pull my image back over here. Now for the sake of argument, I'm simply going to apply something here, a little effect and we're gonna back off on it a little bit and show you how you can utilize some of these express key settings. So I'm gonna click one of the express keys that I assigned command or control J to duplicate my layer. I'm gonna come up here to filter and I'm gonna add a little bit of noise and I have previously applied this technique, so it's gonna run pretty quickly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the magic wand tool, and I'm gonna select my background layer so that I can very quickly create kind of a down and dirty selection of the background. Now this gentleman was shot against a, a black background with a small spotlight in the back, so he's pretty well separated. There's pretty good contrast here, so I'm just kind of tuning up this, uh, this selection with my lasso tool there. And now again, we've got a pretty crude selection, but a selection nonetheless of our background. Now I'm gonna go back up to the layer one and I'm gonna click on the new layer mask icon within the layers panel. And now I've got a nice selection of my player separated from that noise that we just created. Now this isn't a Photoshop technique video, but what I wanted to do was simply apply a couple of effects so that I can show you that applying one of the express keys where I've set it to undo, I can step backwards through my individual history states and return back to our original image. So I'm clicking my Express Key Remote button a couple of times and you can see that my selection is disappearing. There goes our filter and there goes our duplicate layer. So again, by assigning Command Option Z or Control Alt Shift Z to one of the Express Keys, with a single click of that Express Key, I can perform that particular function. If I minimize Photoshop and I come back over here to the Wacom Tablet Properties, I'm simply gonna wrap up with this. Express Keys can significantly increase your efficiency and productivity by putting your most commonly used keyboard shortcuts and functions right there at your fingertips. If you've got a tablet that's got Express Keys, go ahead and give them a try. If you're thinking about getting the Express Key Remote, again, take some of the suggestions that I've given you today to increase your productivity, once again, by putting your favorite keyboard shortcuts and functions right there within arm's reach in the Express Key Remote.